We can factorize numbers, but how do we factorize algebraic expressions? Let's look at some of the ways we can use algebra tiles to support students' understanding of factorization. When the terms in an expression have a common numerical factor, we can group the tiles to show this. We can represent the expression 8x plus 12 using algebra tiles. We can arrange the tiles into two equal groups of 4x plus 6. But four groups of 2x plus 3 is also possible. We can arrange the tiles into a rectangle to show the expression as a product of two factors. The dimensions of the rectangle show how we can write the expression as a single term multiplied by two terms. Now let's find the factors for some other expressions. The expression 3x squared plus 5x involves x squared and x terms. It's not possible to arrange these tiles into equal groups as there isn't a common numerical factor. However, we can arrange the tiles into a rectangle with dimensions x and 3x plus 5. For the expression 2x squared plus 16x, there are several ways of factorizing. We can arrange the tiles into two equal groups, which shows one possible factorization of 2 multiplied by x squared plus 8x. We can also arrange the tiles into a rectangular shape. The dimensions of the rectangle reveal a different factorization, that is, x multiplied by 2x plus 16. There is another way to arrange the tiles as a rectangle, this time with dimensions 2x and x plus 8. We can see that the full factorization of 2x squared plus 16x is the product 2x multiplied by x plus 8. Here's a recap of the ways we can use algebra tiles to learn about factorizing expressions. Watch these videos to learn more about how to use algebra tiles in Key Stage 3 Mathematics.